Hello people, now for this round, I'm going to teach you how to improve performance and to reduce stuttering or lag in your gaming sessions. Alright, so first off, let's go to settings and then let's go to system, display and scroll down a bit, you'll see graphics. Once we're in system, let's just go to display and go down, go to graphics and then you see change default graphics settings. Now we always have to make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on as it will improve performance. And you can also go down to the more about optimizations for windowed games. Now once that's done, we can go over here to Bluetooth and devices and go and look for mouse. Go to additional mouse settings and over here at pointer options, we just need to turn off enhanced pointer position because this can affect your game, especially if you're playing an FPS. It'll mess with your aiming. So that's done. Let's apply. Okay. Next, let's go over to the search, type run, and let's type in system properties advanced. Now once here, just go to advanced and then settings. And as you can see, it's set on custom and the only things checked should be as you see here. However, if you do want to go beyond that, just click on adjust for best performance and it will it will take everything off. And now for the next step, there are two things we have to do beforehand, which is open yeah, system information in the search bar and we'll need a calculator. And there you go. Now the reason we need a calculator is right here on system information, we're going to calculate how much memory and megabytes we can allocate for the next setting. Because we see that I have 12 gig of RAM and let's put 12 here. Why? Because here in the system properties, again once in settings, go to advanced and then we're going to change the virtual memory. Now by default, it automatically manages the paging file size for all drives. So we have to uncheck that and customize the size. Now, because in a single gig, there's 1024 megabytes. So what we do is we multiply this by 1024, 12,000 MB, and we have to multiply this by two. So this is the amount of megabytes we have to input for both the initial size and the maximum size. There we go. And I will do this as well for drive D. There we go. Just press OK. And they will ask us to restart our computer, but we can do that after we do everything else. All right, click Apply. Let's just close that. Next, let's go to Control Panel. Let's go to Hardware and Sound. And see here, Power Options. Let's go here. And once we are here on the Power Options, it will show Balance. If you see Maximum Performance, that would be a good plan to choose, but in my case, I will just take Acer where it automatically balances performance with energy consumption on capable hardware. So this sets it on automatic. Now the next thing we do is go back to the search bar, type run again, and let's type in msconfig. There we go. And once we're here, we're going to be disabling some startup applications. Now just click on Startup and then Open Task Manager. Now as you can see, there are a lot of applications that are enabled. Just disable the ones that you don't need to open every time. For example, Ryan Client Services here, I'll just set that to Disabled. Hamachi. Uh, so yeah, you can check your own startup apps and see for yourself what apps you would like to disable on startup. Now once we're done with that, just close. We can go to Services, Hide All Microsoft Services, and just Disable All. There you go. Once that's done, we're good to go. And now that's done, system config will ask you to restart, but for now, let's just exit without restarting. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is to clear temporary files. So once again, we need to type run, click run, type in temp, now in this case, it's asking me to be the admin, just continue. Now just press control A, so everything is selected, and then just delete. If it's the file is in use, you can just click on do this for all current items and skip. Now once we're done with this, we have to clear another folder. So once again, we press on run, but this time we put percent temp percent. And once again, press control A to select everything and then just delete. And once again, when there are files open, just skip them and you're good. And so now we're going to go and free up some space. So go to add or remove programs in the start. 
Now once here, we're going to try and sort from large to small. There you go. As you can see, there are some applications here as well that take a lot of space. And just sort through your list and see what your computer doesn't need or which games you don't normally open up. And once we're done with that, just close. Alright, so next, we're going back to the search bar. We're going to enter registry editor and we will be editing some registry files. Just click allow. Now, before anything, it would be a good idea to make a backup setting. Let's go to file, click export. And as you can see here, I already made a file name called registry backup just in case and the reasoning for that is because if we have to go back to the default setting you can just import that registry file and all the changes will be reverted so first off what we have to do is go to hkey current user go down to system go down to game config store and over here at game dvr enabled just double click on that and turn the value from one to zero the next thing we do is right underneath game dvr fse behavior mode double click on that and change that zero into two all right and so once that's done let's just collapse this next we're going to hk local machine and then we'll go down to software and then we go down to microsoft then once we're in microsoft we'll scroll down and look for application management and here it is application management then you'll see allow game dvr and once you see value double click on value and set one to zero and that's all we have to do here in the registry editor we can now close this and now for the last thing we have to do we have to check the device manager so we can see if our graphics drivers are all up to date here we go let's go to display adapters and because i have two let's just check for both now for the first one here we'll just update driver just search automatically and if you get this you're good to go let's just do it again for the other one and there you go otherwise if you want to make sure that you are on the current version just go to the website we have nvidia so we can just go over to google type nvidia and here we go you can just update your driver manually if you feel that you're not updated i hope at least a few of these methods have helped you out if you have any questions just leave them in a comment down below and again thank you for watching and see you again next time